welcome back to another vlog. I am in a mad rush to get out the door, but I thought I'd quickly say hello. It's Saturday today. I am away to have a day with my sister. So we've already been to the gym mill already today, which was great fun. Um, and now we are away into town. So we're both away to get some piercings. So I'm going to get my rook done and I'm getting my second lobes done on each side. So that's good. And then we're going out for some foods, we're going to bike yard for um, probably some pig's wings some drinks and then I think we'll go to Backyard after that at Union Square and have some more drinks and then see what happens. I'm in the mood for a session. My sister is kind of hungover so it probably won't happen but we'll have a few and have have a nice day. Um, it's a bit gloomy today but I think it's still, it's quite dull today but I'm hoping it's still warm so fingers crossed but yeah I really need to go. I'm in such a rush. Show you what we get up to and yeah happy weekend folks. <laughs> So I got my rook done, which you can see there. Uh, that was painful. That was throbbing for probably hours after. Quite sore. But you know, I am very glad I got it done. It's cute. It doesn't hurt much now. Just when you like catch it on things, but it's fine. I think it's a good location. It'll heal quite well because it's not gonna, like if it was around the side, things catch on it more often and that can hurt like a um yeah I also got my lobes done so this one and this one which are cute so that's me kind of got like all the piercings that I am now after we're good we're good on the piercing front I'm not good at pain but you know they're done now they hurt for the seconds that you're getting it done and then you know it's over other than the rook one that did hurt quite a lot for maybe two hours after which I've never experienced before. Usually all my piercings have been fine straight after. It's just the actual piercing that hurts, but this one hurt. This one hurt a lot. My ear was bright red, um, but it is fine today. So that's good. Uh, we ended up going to bike yard after that for drinks and we had pig's wings, like sausages. It was like their bar, like their special that weekend. Um, usually it's like burgers and that. We speak that we're doing sausages on the barbecue. So yeah, that was really nice. And then, just, you know, proper street food grub, like just filthy food, really. Um, we had a katsu one and we had the jalapeno and cheese one, I think it was. They were both really nice. And then we went to backyard, bike yard, backyard. Then we went to backyard for some more drinks, like cocktails, like watermelon cocktails, watermelon daiquiris, insane. Yeah, that was good. We met up with my sister's boyfriend and just had a chill evening drinking and then went home like the back of seven or something so it was it was quite a it was a long day but it finished nice and early so and then we went back to his for a drink so it was a it was a nice day i didn't feel 100 percent this morning i won't lie but we're we've been on a dog walk this morning we are we're good to go we're ready and now i'm wait to pick up my car and then heading out to into town again I am away out for lunch, we're going to Corner Tree Cafe today, which will be nice. I've not been there in a wee while. Yeah, Corner Tree Cafe is always really lovely. I've not been there in such a long time. So it'll be nice to go and have some food, some coffee, um, and see where the day brings us. So I think after that, we might be going out for, me and my family might be going out for ice cream at Forest Farm, but potentially we'll see how it goes. It's a really lovely day today. So it seems like perfect ice cream weather. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <music> today I have got the launch of the new um, Bubble City uh, kiosk in Union Square in Aberdeen today. Uh, bubble Tea Sit Bubble Oh my god Bubble City Sit Tea Bubble City 
like Bubble City, City, you know, tea. Um, yeah, Bubble City are opening in Union Square today, which is a bubble tea brand. If you don't know what bubble tea is, it's like teas, juices with little tapioca balls in them, which like burst and yeah, you eat, you eat the balls and. <laughs> to the, the grand opening of uh, Bubble City in Union Square, which uh, it was so busy. Oh my goodness, they had so many customers there yesterday. The line was massive. I was really lucky in the fact that I didn't have to queue. I just managed to get my drink. I went for the um, mango, the mango fruit tea with rainbow bubbles. So the bubbles at the bottom were like fruit filled bubbles of like different flavors, but you can have like one flavor, you could have mixed flavors, like you can do whatever you want. Or you could have tapioca, which is like your traditional sort of um, bubble, your bubble option. They've got a huge range of drinks to choose from. So I went for mango, but there was passion fruit, lychee, apple, a whole range of fruit drinks. And then you had your milk drinks as well. So your milk teas, your matcha milk tea, things like that. So I'd be keen to try one of them. Look at my nails. I'd be keen to try one of them another time because I wasn't sure about it. I probably should have just went for it to be fair, like, cause I've never actually had a milk tea before, I don't think. Have I? Oh no, I did have milk tea in Japan, I think. I don't think I liked it, but I think I will maybe try that next time just to, just for the experience. Yeah, it was, it was nice, refreshing. I probably will stick to my coffees when I'm out and about, but it was a nice change. I would imagine it's really, really refreshing on a nice summer's day um, when you need to cool down, you need something to hydrate you. Perfect. Then we went to Cup, so I took my mum to Cup for lunch, which is very like, it's all been done up since I last been. And it's like Alice in Wonderland themed, it's very cute. And they've got like quotes and stuff around the place. Like we're all mad here and drink me and things like that. Uh, it was very cute. So that was nice. We ended up going for um, lattes, which can't be a latte. And then the mini, mini, mini soup, mini quesadilla and mini tray bake like selection, which honestly, if you are like me and you want everything on a menu, because I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted food, and I knew I would probably want like a tray bake or something or a cake after, because that's the kind of person I am. And it was the perfect way to get like a little bit of each without being greedy, <laughs> to be honest. But it was actually a really decent portion sizes. Like you got, I went for the quesadilla, but you could go for like the sandwich as well, or panini, I think you get as well, I'm not sure. Um, but I went for the quesadilla, which got like two slices and then you got, it was a really hearty bowl of soup. I had curried parsnip, my mum had broccoli and stilton, both lovely, so, so nice. We went for the tuna, red onion and cheese um, quesadillas, gorgeous. I love tuna, onion and cheese, that is just mm, top tier, <laughs> top tier. So that was very much enjoyed by both of us. And then we had Biscoff Rocky Road, so it was a good food day yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it actually got even better because then I met up with a friend and we had my first Big Manny's pizza. We went for the Big Manny pizza, which had pepperoni, chicken, onions, crispy onions. Oh, crispy onions on a pizza, heavenly. I want crispy onions on my pizza forever now. That was so nice. Yeah, it was huge. I am glad that I was sharing it. Yeah, really nice. It was nice to have a local pizza for a change because yeah, you know, Domino's is great, but it's not local, so support local. I would have that again. I'd be keen to try the vegan one next time, uh, which is in collaboration with Roots, which is one of my favorite vegan places in Aberdeen. And they've got a little, um, they've got their their van down at the beach. Lovely, they used to be at Roots as well. Um, they used to be at 99 Bar and Kitchen. It's great food. Yeah, that's been, sorry, I've got hiccups. That's been the, um, so that's been the weekend. It's been really good, so now, I've had a very slow morning. I only had like four hours sleep, so I'm pretty darn tired today, but it's fine because I'm away for coffee soon. Um, I'm going to meet Laura for coffee and we're gonna discuss Sky and what we're getting up to in Sky. I don't know if I've told you, but I am actually going on a little four day holiday to Sky um, in like two weeks time. So that's very exciting. That'll be my first like getting out of 
Aberdeen for more than a day since 2019, end of 2019 perhaps. So it's long overdue. We're both very much missing our holidays. And so we thought a little staycation would be great. So I'm gonna drive this down the sky and we're gonna spend the days, a couple days there, a few days there and get up to some fun. So we're gonna plan that all out today, hopefully. We've still got time to plan it out, but if we can get started, great job. Um, I like to have a little itinerary going just so we make sure we fit in everything we want to do and plan it well. So yeah. That's today's plans, and of course, I will take you along with us. Thought I'd quickly pop on and tell you all about um, Bonobo Cafe. So we ended up, we did go to Bonobo Cafe on Sunday, for some food and ended up getting the tofu benny which is like eggs benedict but obviously a vegan version um because bonobo is 100 vegan so it was like slices of tofu smoked really quite nice i wasn't sure what to expect with that but it was actually really good with their like hollandaise their obviously egg free hollandaise sauce on a bagel with lots of veg and salad and oh it was good it was really nice and then i had an oat milk latte laura had a matcha latte gorgeous honestly so so good highly recommend i've been there before and i had the mac and cheese again highly recommend um if you fancy trying some vegan food or if you are vegan and you're coming to aberdeen uh bonobo cafe is a good place to go mm, uh, it's really cute it's in center town and the the cafe we were sitting outside um because their inside tables are um they used to have inside tables but the shop is now there so I think all the tables are now outside um which wasn't a problem it was a really nice day you were sheltered from the wind so it was actually really nice they've got a resident cat it doesn't actually belong to them but he comes and sleeps and it's little he's got his own little hole where he sleeps in his own little bed which is really cute it's all like purples and blues and it's just really really sweet um yeah I highly recommend going along and trying that out I know I'll be back eventually my oat latte was incredible I finished it and wanted another one i thought i think i'm gonna leave that there because i'm just about to start a new vlog so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you've been to any of these places before or if you go on my recommendations please let me know it has been the best foodie week and i'm hoping to continue the foodie adventures into the next vlog because that is that's life food is life so yeah i will see you in the next one guys bye